May is a very special month for us. It was in May 11 years ago that Pixelgun 3D has launched the game that has since become a significant part of our lives. And while most people celebrate birthdays just for a day, for us, the entire month of May is a grand celebration. So today, we're gonna tell you a bit more about it. Every great party starts with a thorough preparation, and we at QB Games know this all too well. Our team spans the globe, from Portugal to Georgia, Cyprus to Armenia, and Serbia to Turkey. Despite the distances and differing time zones, nothing can weaken our pixel bond. Working from various locations requires us to stay constantly in sync. We spend a lot of our time on calls and coordinating efforts to make sure everyone is on the same page. The interface you see right now mirrors the way we communicate internally. Now back to the festivities. Preparation is key. We thoroughly plan to have pizzas delivered right on time to ensure they're steaming hot. We stock up on pixel cola to keep it chilled, play balloons strategically, set up the party board and confetti, dress up the party sniper rifle in a humorous hat, launch gliders, and of course, organize fireworks display at the classic pool. While we offer special festive guns, avatars, events, and contests that contribute to the fun, it all begins in our classic maps. Throughout May, these decorations set the atmosphere for each match in our arenas. Our level designers carefully check that every banner is perfectly hung and that no piece of pixel pizza is cold and dry. PG3D is a game centered around guns, specifically hundreds of different guns to meet your every need. While pixel gunners seek to expand their armory with new weaponry, we are aware that their interests extend beyond just firepower. Our players are also keen on immersing themselves in your narratives, uncovering the lore and exploring the relationships between the characters. In the multiverse build this season, we aim not only to quench this thirst for knowledge about the Pixel Gun universe, but also to advance the plot and tie together various story threads. The multiverse build this season is a sort of trip down memory lane. We remember our previous seasons, the campaign, the heroes, and their fights against Portellus. And now we create an interdimensional hub to help our main characters to travel between different worlds. To us, the multiverse burst this season draws the line. We are integrating all the previous seasons into one Portellus arc and closing it. Each season, in its own unique way, aligns with the game's lore. Some seasons naturally integrate better than others, but we are always focused on creating visually stunning experiences packed with interesting and well-balanced content. Now, when it comes to our birthday updates, we go all in. We dive deep, crafting even more complex storylines and more content. We introduce special modes and features too, because like birthday isn't just another day, it's a highlight in our calendar. And we pull out all the stops to make sure it truly shines and leaves a lasting impressions. In the multiverse build this season, the past and present converge and look back like Ouroboros, spiraling into a new phase of future storytelling. Daisy, once known merely as a campaign girl to many pixel gunners, now emerges as a key figure in the plot. The dragon from the second chapter is transformed into a new character. All past events have been steering our heroes to this very moment. However, before we delve into the prolonged conflict, we must first honor our beloved mad scientist, Pertelius. We've been side by side with Pertelius since the early days of Pixelgun 3D. And you know, he's gotten a bit weary. Like, after all, his age is beginning to tell on him. Uh, we've really put him through his paces, guns, avatars, modes, events, you name it. And eventually, it became clear it was time for something new. Uh, that's when Eddie Mesmer came into the picture. At first, the idea of this new villain was just a vogue concept. We toyed with the idea of creating an evil twin of Pixel Man, like glitched green version from the fourth campaign chapter. The discussions around his development were intense. We debated everything, from color schemes to visual components. And our concept artists were simply phenomenal building Eddie's image from scratch. The process of choosing and analyzing was demanding but fulfilling, because from these efforts the hypnotic persona emerged. As we refined Eddie, we underwent countless revisions and edits. We needed to be sure that everything about him resonated with his backstory of being linked to portals and possessing hypnotic powers. But we didn't stop at just making him look right. Alongside our community managers, we realized that beyond the aesthetic, Eddie needed a compelling narrative. It took a lot of 
extra miles and countless discussions, but gradually uh, Eddie Mesmer's character took shape, a testament to the depth and detail we strive for. We didn't just want a new character like the, all the others, uh, we wanted him to be the ultimate villain our player would like to play for. One phase of the battle against Portalius is the hacking and reprogramming of the portal hub. That's what you were doing in the Multiverse Rift event. We wanted to tie this event with the main plot of the season so that players remained engaged with the larger global story even during matches and classic modes. Additionally, we designed the event to stand on its own, maintaining its self-sufficiency as a distinct entity. During the Multiverse Rift development process, we were focused on three main objectives. First off, we wanted to make sure that the event was fun, that's a top priority. Then, we focused on making it accessible to everyone. And finally, we designed it to bring a fresh layer of interaction to the gameplay. Since this event was a big part of PG3D birthday celebrations, we wanted to do something special. Our goal was to engage players and reward them with unique prizes that would enhance their overall experience. It's all about creating memorable moments that players could really appreciate. A birthday is a thrilling occasion when some thoughts reminisce about the past and others anticipate the future, much like our season. Looking ahead, we're not just focused on adding new stuff, we want to refine what's already there in the game. For starters, we transformed the task book into the task hub. And just so you know, we're still fine-tuning and polishing it to get it just right. We've got a big plans for so many futures and honestly, I think the best way to keep you all in the loop is to roll them out one at a time. That way, we can be sure every new enhancement gets the attention it deserves. What lies ahead for Pixelman, Daisy and Eddie? Well, I guess uh, only time will tell it, but it appears for now that the events involving the Portal Hub are merely the start of a new story arc and a grand pixel adventure. But right now, we're here in the present together. So let's just savor this moment. A moment, anything seems possible. Happy birthday, Pixel Gun. 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 Happy birthday, Pixel Gun 3D.